Hi everyone, my name is Ava. And my name is Alexis. And we are the McCoy Twins. So today's video, we are going to be doing a really, really fun yes. DIY project. It's called a pom-pom curtain. A pom-pom curtain you can put on maybe like a window or like doors, yeah, like doors or something like that. But it's good. It's a really fun like decoration. You can build it and put it wherever you feel to inspire. These are the materials you need. First, you'll need some craft glue. Now, you shouldn't get this from like somewhere like Dollar Tree. Because it might not be very. You shouldn't get like Elmer's um, regular Elmer's glue because that might not stick that way. So we have this craft glue, but you can get any strong, any other strong of glue. Like craft you can even get um, hot glue guns or Gorilla Glue. Or any of them. Another thing you need is. Of course, pom poms. So we also have some flowers. You can like get decorated with anything, guys. You don't have to use pom poms or flowers. So the next thing you'll need is some string. We are going for a thick string. I think it might be easier because it might take less, longer since it's easier to glue it on. You want to cut the string as long as your door or window is. And make sure to cut each one the, basically the same size. The next thing we're gonna need is it's a rod. This is where you're going to hang it either on your door or window. So, the next thing you need is an apron. Well, you don't really need an apron, but, but you should at least wear something you're fine with getting a little bit messy on. You might not want to do it in a place in your house. That's like in a, on a rug. Like, yeah, especially a white one. So the next thing you, you'll need is... I want you to make that cool, but... Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. So the next thing you'll need is beads. So these are wood beads. You have to put them on if you want it to work because these are full weight so it can sag it down instead of it being crumbled up. But you'll also need scissors for cutting the string. So yeah, scissors like these. The last thing you need is a mat. So you need a mat or like a towel or something because if you don't, then if you get something on the floor, you're going to get in trouble, and you don't want that. And if stronger scissors are involved, make sure there's a, an adult around. Dad, I'm filming the video, so I'm going to help them out when we need uh, sharp scissors. So, let's begin. Ava misspelled materials, but that's adorable. Step one is to cut your string. Make sure to cut it all at the same length. First string as long as you want and then do the same for the rest. In my instance, I want all of mine to be eight feet. If your door is this wide, then you, you're gonna need a little bit of strings. But if your door or window is this wide, you're gonna need a lot of strings. Because it depends how close you put each one. If you put like one here, one here, one here, you're only gonna need like a few strings. The more strings you, you use, the thicker the curtain. But if you use a little bit, then it won't be as thick. So we have all of our string cut, yes. So the next step is, so step two is you have to get some of our craft glue, mm -hmm. and you have to get the string, and line your rod, like just put it right here. I think it's easier if you line all the string up, like the same one and then you um, add the pom-poms and leave like a tiny bit of space. Because the girls will need a little bit of help, I'm gonna help them tie the knots at the top to yes. the top of the rod. I'll help them with that. So we're gonna do a knot like that. You just do a regular knot? Yeah, then you can, you see, you can slide it, see? You can slide it. At this point, we're gonna tie a knot onto this rod with all the strings. Then we're going to start the really fun part. Make sure it's not too heavy. Like, don't use bricks. 
So I have 15 or 16 bees, and I have 17. Yes, yeah, so that's how much we have to count. So now we're going to tie the beads to the bottom. Guys, so this part, it might be kind of tedious for kids to put the bead at the bottom of the string, but this is really for weight. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to put the string through the hole here, and now I'm gonna tie a knot, just a regular, just a regular knot. I'm gonna tie a knot like that. So now with the bead at the bottom, it has more density so that it doesn't like move too much. So one bead at the bottom. We really like doing DIY projects or really any projects that really include making it at home instead of buying it off of a store. But you have to be patient to do some projects because it might take a long time. And it's easy to be patient if you're having fun. So now that we got all the bees at the bottom, this is all the pom-poms we have, guys. I know we're not gonna need probably not all of it, but we have like 15 or 16 strings. So that is a lot to decorate. So basically what we're gonna do is, we're going to take our glue, and we're going to like just did a little bit of glue. With this kind of glue, I'm gonna hold it on for like five seconds so it'll actually stick. And then you keep doing that until all of it's filled. The cool thing about this is there's no right or wrong, you could just do it however you want. So let's get started to decorate. I'm putting the glue down on the rope, not the pom-pom, and I'm going to hold it down for a few seconds. Make sure not to pull it like this, because then it'll come off. I'm spacing this out because if I don't, it's going to take forever and then I'm just going to move on to the next one. So basically, do as many strings as you want. This is working out, but it takes a little bit more time than you think because the glue, you have to hold it on like for a few seconds before it can stick and let it dry for a few minutes. So, the cool thing about this is when you are finishing and you do really good, then that means you could keep it like for a very long time. Well, unless your brother comes and knocks it down. Okay guys, so we're back and we're in different clothes right now because we spent it all last night doing it and we finished it this morning. So now it's time to show you the finished result. So it looks really good. Yes, so look. Wow. And then you just walk through? Yeah, okay. And this is mine. Okay. And you can also play with your car, I guess. It's really cool. Are you guys glad that you did it? Yes. It's a good decoration. I think you did a great job. It took you a while. Good things take a long time, don't they? Yes. Yeah. It looks really, really, really good. We both hope you like this DIY video. Yes. And you should try it at home someday with your parents' supervision. Yes. And thank you for watching. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and, and make sure to watch more of our DIY videos. Bye. Thank you for watching, and make sure you do more videos. Subscribe and show on the more of cases. Thank you for watching.